A pleasant day, everyone. We are Group 2 and we are here to present Industrial Age. So what is in this era? This era encompasses the changes in economic and social organization that began in 1760 in Great Britain and later in other countries in the world. As you can see, in this era, the hand tools are replaced by power driving machinery such as steam engine, power loom, and by the concentration of industry in large establishments. In addition, it is commonly believed that industrial age was the supplanted by the information age in late 20th century, which is the view become more common since the revolution of 1989. This is the timeline of industrial age. We will be beginning our topic by discussing the printing press. The printing press is a device used for applying pressure to an ink surface resting upon a print medium such as paper or cloth to transfer the ink. It is typically used for text and this invention could be considered as is considered as one of the most influential events in the second millennium as this allowed for mass production of mass of printed media next slide the first printing press was invented in 1440 by johannes gutenberg in the holy roman empire based on existing screw presses gutenberg a goldsmith by profession developed the printing press by essentially repurposing the screw press to be used as a machine for transferring instead of the watering materials. In addition, Gutenberg's printing press allowed for cheap and accurate production up to 250 sheets of pressed text for books, newspapers, and other printed media, such as flyers and posters. Next slide, please. Um, in this slide, um, a video is shown where you can watch how Gutenberg's printing press is operated. Next slide, please. Uh, by 1500s, printing presses in operation throughout Western Europe had already produced more than 20 million volumes. In the 16th century, with presses spreading further afield, their output rose tenfold to an estimated 150 to 200 million copies. The operation of of a press became synonymous with the emperor. With the enterprise of printing, it gave its name to, the, to a new branch of media called the press. Um, in addition to this slide, um, you can see Gutenberg's Bible. Gutenberg's Bible, also known as the 42-line Bible, um, has its name derived from Johannes Gutenberg himself, as well as the format that the print follows, containing two columns with 42 lines in each one. Next slide, please. Um, in this slide, uh, the video showing is the last printing press in the US in the United States today, the area. Uh, next slide. Uh, newspapers and the London Gazette. The Gazette, as it is now modern people, is a collective of three publications called the London Gazette, Belfast Gazette, and Edinburgh Gazette. Its history begins with the Great Plague of London. Um, which made Charles II and the, royal, and the royal court move to Oxford to escape the plague. Um, courtiers were unwilling to touch, let alone hold to read the London newspapers for fear of contagion. Because of the plague, the London Gazette was first published as the Oxford Gazette on November 7, 1665. Next slide. The Gazette was published by authority by Henry Muddyman, and its first publication is noted by Samuel Pepys in his death. The king returned to London as the plague dissipated, so as the Gazette. The first issue of the London Gazette, labeled number 24, was published on February 5, 1666. In the 1600s, the Gazette was not a newspaper in the modern sense. It was sent by post to subscribers and not printed for sale to the general public. Her Majesty's Stationery Office, HMSO for short, took over the publication of the Gazette in 1859. Later on, the publication of the Gazette was transferred to the private sector 
under government super supervision in the 1990s when HMSO was sold and renamed the Stationery Office. Next slide, please. So let us go to the typewriter in 1800s. Mm. Typewriter was invented by Christopher Latham Schulz. Mm. Um, since keyboards are not yet available in this period, so they use this device. People use this device. So what is a typewriter? A typewriter is a mechanical or electromechanical machine for writing characters like those produced by printers movable type. It, is, it operates by means of keys that strike a ribbon to transmit ink or carbon impressions onto paper. Typically, a single character is printed on each key on each key press. The machine prints characters by making ink impressions of type elements like the sorts used in movable type letter press printing. At the end of the 19th century, the term typewriter was also applied to a person who used a typing machine. Um, a telephone, on the other hand, was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. It is a telecommunications device that permits two or more users to conduct a conversation when they are too far, too far apart to be heard directly. A telephone converts sound typically and most efficiently the human voice into electronic signals suitable for transmission via cables or other transmission media over long distance and replace such signals simultaneously in audible form to its user. Um, in addition, before, before it was invented, I believe that other people in this period was having a hard time because they use handwritten letters to communicate. So, this device became very helpful to them because they can communicate easily through the use of this. Next book. And as I have said earlier, Alexander Graham Bell invented this device. Mm. The telephone was the first device in history that enabled people to talk directly with each other across large distances. Telephones rapidly became indispensable to businesses, government, and households, and are today some of the most widely used small appliances. The next topic is about motion picture photography projection. The history of film technology traces the development of film technology from the initial development of moving pictures at the end of 19th century to the present time. Motion pictures were initially exhibited as a fairground novelty and developed into one of the most important tools of communication and entertainment in the 20th century. In addition, a motion picture is a series of still photographs on film projected onto a screen using light in rapid succession and was invented by Thomas Edison and William Dixon. Major developments in motion picture technology have included the adoption of synchronized motion picture sound, color motion picture film, and the adoption of digital film technologies to replace physical film stock at both ends of the production chain by digital image sensors and projectors. As shown in the slide, we can, we can see the first, pic, first motion picture made and Sally Gardner, which is the oldest surviving motion picture made with multiple cameras. Commercial motion pictures. The kinetoscope is an early motion picture exhibition device and was invented by Thomas Edison and William Dixon in 1891. It was a stream of film was passed rapidly between lens and electric light bulb where the viewer peered through a, through a peephole. And it was not a movie projector but introduced the basic approach that would become the standard for all cinematic projection before the advent of video by creating the illusion of movement and by conveying a strip of perforated film beating sequential images over a light source with the high-speed shutter. A process using wall film first described in a patent application 
submitted in France and the U.S. by French inventor Louis Le Prince and was also used by Thomas Edison in 1889 and subsequently developed by William Dixon between 1889 and 1892. Dixon and his team at the Edison lab also devised the kinetograph, which is an innovative motion picture camera with rapid intermittent or stop-and-go film movement to photograph movies for announced experiments and eventually commercial kinetoscope presentations. As shown in the slide, we can see the kinetoscope made by Thomas Edison and the cinematograph made by the Lumiere Bros. Motion pictures with sound. Sound film is opposed with silent film. These moving images is accompanied with soundtracks. In 1900s, the first non-public exhibition of projected sound films happened in Paris. However, many years have passed before this type of film were made commercially practical. With the advancement of motion pictures with sound, the first commercial screening occurred in 1923. And by the, by the early 1930s, the sound film became a global phenomenon. Next is the telegraph. Telegraphy is a long distance transmission of messages without the physical exchange of an object bearing the message. Before, there are different methods to transmit messages. Early examples are the use of smoke signals, beacons, reflected light signals, and flag semaphore signals. By the 19th century, electrical telegraphy was invented and it revolutionized communication. For the first time, people from all over the world could communicate instantly. By 20th century, telegraphy was innovated into wireless through a radio transmission. This was called radio telegraphy. Below are the pictures of telegraph. Uh, Samuel Morse developed the electric telegraph and invented the Morse code. Uh, Morse code is a sign sent of dots and dashes to represent each letter of the English alphabet and it allowed for the simple transmissions of complex messages across telegraph lines. Punch card. A punch card or punch card is a piece of stiff of paper that can be used to contain digital information represented by the presence or absence of holes in predefined positions. The information might be data for data processing, application, or in earlier example, used to directly control automated machinery. So, a punch card began in 1801 where Joseph Marie Jacquard first demonstrated his developed programmable textile loom. Since then, Jacquard's loom was considered to be one of the earliest forms of programming, giving it the title of predecessor to modern computing. Also, during the 1820s, Charles Babbage proposed an analytical engine that could perform mathematical calculations when fed information using punch cards. It would use a form of many of the components now fundamental to modern computers. Next slide, please. So, punch cards were later used to store and search information in 1832 by Nikolaevich Korsakov. Later in 1890, Hermann Hollerith developed a method for machines to record and store information on punch cards to be used for the U.S. Census. During those days, a punch card may contain the name, address, profession, ownership, marital status, and information or profile of an individual wherein data can be entered into the, into the card by punching holes on each column, representing one character. Punch cards were widely used through much of the 20th century in what became known as the data processing industry. Next slide, please. So, how did punch card works? In early computers that rely on punch card, it works as, as the punch card is inserted, the punch card um, reader starts on the left, top left side of the card, leading vertically from top to bottom. After the card reader has read a column, it moves to the next column. As the reader read the information, it would be written to a computer memory. The computer would be instructed to execute the code. If information was outputted or printed, it would be outputted as punch cards. So as you can see, the punch card has holes. These holes stores data. Data is stored on the card by punching holes, which represent letters or numbers in specific column locations that relate to the information being recorded. To read this data, the card must be run through a machine that can detect or sense the location of the holes. Next slide, please. 
So to summarize the discussion, the industrial age is defined by mass production, broadcasting, and the beginning of rise, uprise media and information. Industrial revolution was credited to be the merger of technology with industry. Inventions and innovations served to shape virtually every existing sector of human activity along industrial lines while also creating many new industries. So from 1700s to 1930s, People used the power of steam, developed machine tools, established iron production, and the manufacturing of various products. Specifically, the industrial age gave birth to the printing press for mass production, newspaper, the London Gazette, typewriter, telephone, motion picture or photography or projection, commercial motion pictures, motion picture with sound, telegraph, and punch cards. That would be all. Thank you.